Greetings to everyone out there and welcome back to Around the Clock. In this Nintendo News Mashup video, we have two very exciting topics to discuss. For one, a brand new mystery game, or I should say games, have been announced for summer 2021 and beyond for the Nintendo Switch, plus we have our very first review in for Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury thanks to Famitsu. So with that being said, let's start off with this review for Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury, as you can see on your screens here. In the latest Famitsu magazine, three games were reviewed. Little Nightmares 2 received a 33 out of 40, New Star Manager received a 30 out of 40, and Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury received a 36 out of 40, and out of four votes, they got a 9, a 9, an 8, and a 10. So that's a very, very good score. I can't wait to see what the other reviews will say about this game, you know, the reviews from Metacritic.com and other outlets like this, but this is a very good score from Famitsu, and the hype for this game is so real right now. We're literally a week away from this game launching on the Nintendo Switch, February 12, 2021, and I am definitely picking up this game day one. Alright now, let's move on to our final topic of this video, and it involves a couple of brand new mystery games that have been announced for summer 2021 and beyond for the Nintendo Switch console. And all of this comes directly from the managing director of games at Virtual Studios, Christoph Gandon, in a brand new interview with Nintendo Life. Now, for those of you who do not know, Virtuoso has already brought over some exciting ports to the Nintendo Switch. Some of them include the XCOM 2 collection, Final Fantasy XII The Zodiac Age, Final Fantasy X slash Ten Two HD Remaster, Dark Souls Remastered, and the Bioshock Collection. And with that being said, here's what he had to say in this brand new interview. 2021 has kicked off with the continued rise of the Nintendo Switch, as it now overtakes 3DS lifetime sales. There are many reasons for its success, including fantastic first party games and a clever design that finally crosses the handheld slash console divide. However, what makes the Switch really stand out is its continued strong third party support. Investing in the Switch ecosystem no longer means missing out on some of the biggest IPs in the world, with franchises like Bioshock and XCOM sitting in the same content library as Mario and Zelda. This can be credited to Nintendo's new approach to working with third parties and their desire to make the Switch a welcoming home for developers of all shapes and sizes. We've been able to make good use of Nintendo's toolkits to make games look and run great on their hardware and are excited about new projects on the horizon for this summer and beyond. There's plenty more to come from the Switch family. So they all have it right there in black and white. And with them saying that more games are coming to the Nintendo Switch summer 2021 and beyond, I wonder where they can be. Now, one series of games that really stand out is the Batman Arkham series. I mean, we already received a couple of these games on the Nintendo Wii U and they played extremely well. So I wonder, is Virtuals working on an Arkham collection for the Nintendo Switch? I would be totally, totally down for that. And I think this will be a great move. I mean, if the Wii U can handle the Arkham games, I think the Switch can too. But we'll have to wait and see what happens with this. Like it was stated in the interview, there are a couple of games that they have coming to the Nintendo Switch for summer and beyond, so we'll have to wait and see. Hopefully, it is one of these Batman games or a collection of games, but of course, time will tell. Alright everyone, that's going to do it for this video. What are your thoughts on everything that was discussed here, the first Super Mario 3D World review by Famitsu, plus these brand new mystery games that have been announced for the Nintendo Switch by Virtuals? Please let me know down in the comment section below. and. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button because it really does help out the channel and gives exposure to other people who do not know about Around the Clock. Also, please share this video as well. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you don't miss out on new and daily Nintendo news content. Right here at Around the Clock, we're here, we focus on Nintendo gaming news around the clock. Catch you guys in the next one.